Welcome to this episode of GVTV. I'm Natalia Barr here with Quinn Van Camp. Hey Eagles, let's get started with some announcements. Don't forget, Monday, February 17th is President's Day, which means no school. Enrollment conferences took place this week for upcoming sophomores to seniors to prepare for the 2014-2015 school year. Thank you to all the students, parents, and faculty to help make this a success. Congratulations to GVHS senior Katricia Herring, who was one of the few girls in the area to be recognized for aspirations in computing. What a great way to represent our school. A special reunion happened at the high school this week. GVHS got the chance to host a welcome home surprise for a student and her father returning from deployment. It was a truly heartwarming experience. That's all for announcements. Now to learn more about our word of the week, Bergen Bergen. It's, it's Bergen, and oh. it means young and flourishing. Cool. I doubt I'm the only one who thinks it's hard to say. Watch this. Virgin. Virgin. Burgon. Burgion. Burgion? Burgion. Burgoyne? Uh, no, excuse me. Uh, it's actually Burgeon. I have no idea. I think it means young. Burgers. Oh, uh, I don't know what that means. It's a blue animal that lives in the rainforest. To burden something? The right to freedom of speech. Virgin is another word for young and flourishing. See, I told you, I'm not the only one. Yeah, whatever. But have you ever wondered if your teachers or fellow students have a knack for celebrity impersonations? We're going to go to Chris to find out. I'm Chris Eubank, here with Miss Lever. Miss Lever, what's your best Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. You don't know. <laughs> I'll be back. Get to the chopper. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> um, I'm not doing this. Wow, wow, wow. I'll get to the chopper. <laughs> I'll be back. Who's that? Blah, blah. Um, I can't do Arnold. I'll be back. Well, that was interesting to say the least. Let's move on to sports with Timmy. Thanks, guys. I'm Timmy Hinton with an update on your boys' basketball. As you can see here behind me, they are preparing their offense for the final seven games of the season. With a combined 13-3 and record, 3-0 and in the MRVC West, they are tied for first place with Harrisonville. With four home games remaining in your 2013-14 basketball season, make sure you come out and cheer on your Grand Valley boys basketball. Now over to David with a word on your Grand Valley wrestlers. To anybody who entered the Grand Valley wrestling room this week, they noticed that there was a little bit of bareness in there. But that's because the Grand Valley JV season ended last week on a great note, and the Grand Valley district meet is coming up this Saturday. Key wrestlers for the Eagles are Maverick Alexander, Harrison Bamman, and the Hernandez brothers, who all look to have good shots to make it out. But good luck to all who are participating. Green Valley Girls Basketball is on a hot streak right now, moving their 14-3 record up, and they will play Odessa tonight along with the boys. They are currently undefeated in conference and are going to work hard to bring home the W. This is David Hudgens, Grand Valley Sports. Thanks, guys. Now we're going to head over to Emma with some important information about graduation. As graduation approaches, seniors have a lot to accomplish before we walk across the stage on May 22nd. There are only 96 days left to prepare for this very important day. You only graduate from high school once. Now to Rachel to find out more. Seniors, there are a lot of things for you to do over the next few months before graduation. Be sure to turn in two baby or toddler pictures and two senior pictures into Mrs. McElwain in room 204 by April 15th if you want them up on the slideshow at graduation. Also, graduation practice is on Friday, May 9th, so be sure you're at school that day. Cap and gown orders will be in from Jostens on March 5th, so try to have it paid off by that date. Make sure you have all of your requirements for A-plus and community service hours, or you won't be given your diploma on graduation day. I know it's a lot, but hang in there, guys. Only a few months left. Thanks, Rachel. If you have any questions, ask one of our senior sponsors, Mrs. Hall or Mrs. Bolt. Now back to you in the studio. Ooh. Thanks, guys. Now Sadie and Sarah are going to learn about everyone's plans after high school. 2014 graduating class. Now we're going to head out to Sarah so she can talk with us about what we're doing after high school. Where do you want to go to college at? I plan on going to Mizzou. Missouri Southern. 
I'm going to the University of Central Missouri. UMKC. University of Central Missouri. University of Kansas. Missouri S&T. Missouri State. Blue River. UCM. UCM. University of Central Missouri. United States Armed Forces. What are you going to major in? I'm going to major in radiologic technology. Pre-veterinary medicine. Engineering or architecture. BSN in nursing. Bachelors of Science. Political Science and International Relations. Science and possibly Computer Engineering. Occupational Therapy. Electrical. Nursing. The nursing Program. Kinesiology. Serve my country. Why did you choose this college? Uh, I chose Mizzou because it has a nice campus and my mom also lives in Columbia, so it would be a lot cheaper if I go there. They have a good veterinary program. Very good architect program. And I really like the nursing program uh, for their nursing program. Um, I have really good scholarships to go there, and it's a really good school for what I'm going for, and it's just, I don't know, the pride at the school is awesome. Good. Why are you going to go? It's, uh, um, most of my friends are going down to Missouri S&T as well. Uh, it's incredible for my major, and it's a really nice school. Because it's cheap and it's very close to home? Because it's small and close to home. <laughs> I like the campus, and they have a good nursing program. Because it's close to home and it's pretty small. Going military. Back to you guys in the studio. It's really hard to believe that our four years are almost done. We wish everyone the best of luck in your future plans. Now we're going to head over to Isaiah. I'm Isaiah Akers. I'm here with Hannah Jones, this week's Bachelorette. Hannah, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I play volleyball. I run track and jump. And I was a gymnast for 13 years. What do you look for in a guy? Um, they have to have a good personality, they have to be funny, they have to be very athletic. Yeah. Do you have a valentine? No. Will you be Jordan Mahone's valentine? No! <laughs> Isaiah Akers, now back to you in the studio. How could you say no to that? That's what I'm saying. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for joining us on this episode of GVTV. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at GVHS Eagle Media. We out.